Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be epic. It is going to be huge. And when I say huge, I'm talking about these boxes as well as the content I have for you today. I have a close friend who mailed me all of the handbags that she is wanting to move on from her collection, and they are all in these two boxes. I would not normally do a vlog sale for somebody else, but in this case, this is for a friend, and she just doesn't have the same kind of platform that I do to sell her handbags. And I just happen to know that the handbags in these boxes are almost all ones that I have in my collection or have had that I love and I thought why not just do a vlog sale so that I can pass on some amazing deals to my subscribers and viewers because that's what's in these boxes is amazing deals and high quality super nice bags. So without further ado, I thought I would show you my bag of the day and then we would move into the boxes and look at them together one by one. I have a printout of the prices that my friend and I agreed on. And so if you decide to purchase anything, you'll work directly with me, just like when I do a sale of my handbags and I would ship them to you, provide tracking right away as quickly as I can and get them directly to your doorstep. So other than the fact that I'm not the owner of these bags, it's the same as if you were buying from me because I'm going to inspect them with you. I'm gonna show you all the details, gonna tell you what I think, and I'm gonna tell you the price. This, however, is my bag of the day. It is the Tory Burch Kira Small Satchel, I believe is what it's called in denim. I have seen these pop up for sale somewhat recently. You can still find them here or there, and I don't remember where it is I saw them, but they kind of come and go on some of the department store websites. It seems like maybe some of the department store last call type websites as well, but this is one of my most favorite Tory Burch bags. I love the denim. It just reminds me of summer, and I've got it paired with my denim coach hat, and I know it's not an exact match, but I got this vibe going on, ultra casual like normal, and this bag fits right in. I don't know what is in each box. I have two boxes, so let's just dig into the first one. And I have my list and I've got my glasses so I can inspect these and let you know all the deets. I don't plan to make a regular thing out of helping people sell handbags because honestly, selling is stressful for me. I know I do a lot of selling, but I do it out of necessity so that I can move things along that I'm not using and get things that I'm excited about again. And when I sell things, it's not because I don't like the item anymore. It's just because I've tired of it generally, or I found some characteristic about it that just doesn't work for me. And that's when I decide to move things on. And if you watched my video yesterday, I explained in depth about several different bag styles, thoughts on why I would let some of them go, but not others, and many more details on buying, selling, and trading. So I will link that video down below if you haven't had a chance to catch it. All right. The first bag is actually a brand that I don't have in my collection anymore, and it is Aspinall of London. Aspinall of London is a brand carried by European royalty, so you would be among good company if you did have a bag from Aspinall of London. I have had one of their camera bags. So I know the leather on these bags is delicious, and so let's just see what's in here. I know what's in here, but I haven't ever seen it in person. Do, 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 do. It's seriously like an eight bag unboxing. This is really fun. Okay, so this bag is a completely sold out. It is a smooth leather and I gotta get my glasses on so I can look at it in detail. Okay, so this is the mini Madison tote by Aspinall of London. It's got a beautiful, smooth, creamy leather. I would say this is very similar to Coach Chalk or Ivory, maybe slightly in between the two. I love how it is pleated on the sides. That is just a super nice touch. I love the detail here on the handles. It's very quiet luxury, as we like to say these days, in that it only has very minimal branding where it says Aspinall of London there on the front. And of course, you could always carry it this direction because the bag doesn't really have a front or a back. 
It has a closure like the newer Lady Dior's do where you reach in and open the flap to get inside. So that'll help keep your items from falling out. I'm not gonna try on most of these bags because I have them in my collection or have had them in my collection. So you can go back and reference those videos, but the Aspinall of London straps hook on super easily. The peg system is great on these bags. And I speak from experience with my camera bag. I did let the camera bag go because it was just a tiny bit too small for me. The way I'm putting this strap on, it may end up being backwards, we'll see. Normally I prefer a clips on a strap rather than this hole and peg system, but you could always, always add clips to, to this particular strap so that you can get it on and off easier. Although as far as like this type of closure for a D-ring, it is about as easy as it can get. The only reason why you would want to go ahead and wear this bag with the Aspinall on the front is because then your hand goes in easier with the magnetic closure. But again, that Aspinall is super discreet and it does fit very nicely crossbody. I am 5'8 and about 145 pounds. I wear a size medium. And on me, that strap setting was one away from the longest. Yes, it was one away from the longest. Inside the bag is a beautiful blue lining and you have a slip pocket on this side and then you have a zippered pocket on that side. So it's got more organization than most totes do. And it still comes with the original wrapping that was inside the bag. I'm gonna stick that back in here in just a second. To get this beauty to your doorstep from Aspinall, the retail price would have been $6.75 plus some taxes and fees to get it across the pond, but you can get this one for $3.49 shipped if you're interested. Just contact me through my contact information, which will be down in the description box. You can either email me or you can DM me on Instagram. All right, let's see what's in the box next. So the box after this is gonna have six handbags. This one has two. So let's get out an oldie but a goodie. One of my favorite bags because of how soft it is and how wonderful it feels. We have the Red Coach Pillow Tabby. And I believe the color is called Red Apple. This one has been worn one time. I'm not gonna try it on because you can go reference my Pillow Tabby videos, but she is in beautiful condition and does not have a mark on her that I see. I'm inspecting her as we speak. She comes with both straps and of course the Pillow Madison is lined in leather, which is very luxurious. And the Pillow Madison has been released with a newer strap that's flat. This one has the puffy style, which I actually prefer to the flatter one. And then of course the short handle is very puffy as well. You can add some little extenders to this strap if you want it longer. That's something that I've covered in my Pillow Tabby videos. And I just think this bag is fabulous. There's a ton of adjustability on the crossbody strap. These bags retail for $550 plus tax, and this one can come to you for $295. So if you're interested, again, my contact information is down in the description box. This box was a pretty penny to ship to me because it has so many handbags in it. It is heavy. It's gonna be fun. It's like getting presents, but they're not for me, which I guess isn't that fun, but. <laughs> It'll be fun for you because they could be for you. So what's behind door number one? Now I've actually owned this bag and I did sell it because for me, I just prefer Coach Brass hardware, but their dark hardware is just gorgeous. And this is the Chambray Pillow Madison. She is in a stunning condition. And I think these bags retail for $4.95, and this one is for sale for $2.95. The way that we determined prices was to go look on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and find the lowest price of similar condition and price these bags at about that price or slightly lower. So you're getting a fantastic deal and you don't have to pay taxes or shipping. So that is the Chambray Blue Pillow Madison. It has a double chain that pulls out that you can wear on the shoulder or crossbody. Let's look inside. 
This bag was worn one time and is in immaculate condition. It has the front slip pocket, as you can see there. And then it has a center compartment that has a pocket right here. She has the strap tucked in really nicely, so I do not want to go ahead and pull that out. But let me just show you up close. The hardware is in excellent, excellent condition. So if you're interested in this one, you can get it for $2.95 shipped. Here is another Pillow Madison for me to show you, but this is in the smaller size. And I've never had a chance to try one of these on. But this particular color is one that I absolutely love. It is in the color Canyon, which is a brownish orange color. It comes off a little bit more orange, I think, on camera. But sometimes when I go back and watch, what I'm seeing while I'm doing this video doesn't quite match what I do when I'm editing. But I have shown you Canyon in my Soft Tabby Hobo. And I've also shown it to you recently on a strap I purchased to go with my Soft Pebble camera bag. And it is a gorgeous, pretty neutral shade. Like on the trim here of my hat, I think that's rust. And so you can see how it compares to rust. It is really nice. And so I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. I believe these retail for $3.95 plus tax and she's selling this for $2.25. And it is brand new without tax. When I look down, I'm looking at my notes just so I get everything right, but let me double check her just like I am with all of them and make sure that there's nothing, no surprises, and there is not. She is in beautiful condition, which she should be because she hasn't been worn. She has a nice back pocket, probably not big enough for your phone, but definitely a generous back pocket. A phone should fit inside this bag, no problem. There's a lot of space for a little bag. Heck, I may end up selling myself on some of these bags by the time I'm done with this video because I really love how that looks. It works on me crossbody. And then if I want to shoulder carry it, I can do that as well. It's a very nice shoulder carry length for me. So this little cutie is $2.25. Should you be interested? This one is a super tiny. I have not ever played with one of these. I think I've picked them up at the store on my shopping blogs and shown you, but this is another Canyon Cutie and she's trimmed in a darker brown. And I don't know the name of that darker brown. Heck, it may be the same as my hat. I don't think it's rust, so maybe this isn't rust, but I love Canyon when it's paired with this darker brown. It's just like my Soft Tabby Hobo was. It sort of just makes the color pop. This is the Micro Soft Tabby, I believe. Yes, and these retailed for $1.95 plus tax, and I don't know that they ever got clearanced out, but they're not available on the resale market at all for any reasonable price. So we just priced this one at retail, which is $1.99 shipped. It's actually slightly less than retail when you consider tax and shipping. But this little cutie can actually pack a punch. She obviously cannot fit a cell phone, but she could certainly fit some cards and a key fob and a lippy. You could fit a fair amount in there. And she comes with a really nice crossbody strap as well. And as you can see, it is brand new. She's lined in a micro suede and does have one pocket in there for your cards or maybe for a receipt if you want to save one. She also has the top handle. I've been holding her by that, but I just didn't point it out. But I love this. This would be a fun little wallet inside of a tote bag. I mean, think how cute that would be pulling it out and whipping out your cards or whatever you needed or even running into the store and all you need is your key fob and your credit cards. You could bring this, stick your phone in your pocket and you'd be good to go. So again, this little cutie is $1.99 and is brand spanking new. So we've done five of the eight bags. I have three to go. And so let's just get cracking on it. So we have some Marc Jacobs. And as you all know, I recently told you yesterday that I regret selling one of my Marc Jacobs mini the tote bags. This is actually the micro size and it is the Teddy tote. This one was really hard to find for price comparison as well because it is just not available very many places, but it is a stinking cute little bag and is a steal at $1.95 shipped. It was only worn one time. So it has a zippered top, just like all of the other mini the tote bags that I have. Of course, this is smaller and then is lined in a fabric lining 
comes with a canvas crossbody strap. I really like that Marc Jacobs has these canvas crossbody straps on their shirling like bags as well as their canvas bags. I wish that they did this sort of a strap on their leather bags because these are more comfortable to me than the skinny leather straps that come with the mini the tote bags. And I like how it's black because it sort of ties in with the logo plate, the tote bag that says Marc Jacobs just below it. You know, for a tiny bag, I really think you could fit all of your daily essentials in there because of the depth of the bag. I think it's gonna hold a lot more than you would think. If you're interested in this little cutie, she's $1.95 shipped. I kind of feel like going into these boxes is like going to a store with great selection because there are just some gems here that I'm revealing to you. Next, we have another mini Madison, mini pillow Madison, and this one is in the color Petunia. Not gonna try her on because I tried on the Canyon one for you, but she is a beautiful shade of pink. I think she's coming off pretty well on the camera and she has that brass hardware that I love just like the Canyon one does. I cannot believe how much bigger these bags are on the inside than I thought they would be. I mean, I can get my whole hand in there easily. I could put both my hands in there easily. And I like that they've got the pockets on both sides because that gives you an opportunity to eliminate a card holder and carry a whole lot more. I don't see any marks on this bag. She looks brand spanking new, which she is. You can get her for $2.25 shipped these retailed for $3.95 plus tax, so that is a steal. I don't think that any of these bags are still available on any website other than the reloved or pre-loved market. And so getting them this way, you know what you're gonna get, especially if you've bought from me before, you're gonna get a great bag at a great price with quick shipping. Last but not least is probably my favorite of the bunch. I have one of these in my collection. Well, heck, I've got soft tabbies in my collection. I have pillow Madisons in my collection. What else did I unbox? I can't even remember now. I have Marc Jacobs the tote bags in my collection. So as you can tell, my friend and I have similar tastes. In fact, we joke about that sometimes when we're looking at handbag sites because we'll pick out the same ones as our favorite. So here we go. We have the Carnation Pink Studio Bag. I think this bag retailed for $6.75 or $6.95 if I remember correctly. She is brand new and she comes with both straps, the chain strap and the leather strap. I recently sold my Dove Gray Studio and mainly just for the reason that I prefer the chalk one. I love my studio bag. These bags are lined in leather and have a push button type closure that slides through this particular clip there. It's hard to find one sometimes that has perfect quilting and this quilting looks amazing. The detail work on these leather straps are quite incredible. And I just think the pink with the dark hardware is stunning. Again, she's fully leather lined. These, these bags have a back slip pocket, a large center compartment with a slip in pocket, and then also the front pocket as well, where you can slide in your phone. She comes with a comfortable, adjustable leather strap in addition to the chain strap. So the long strap is adjustable, but the chain strap is not. You can use this to wear it on the shoulder or for a shorter crossbody. So let's do one more spin move on this bag. I swear this color, this, carna this carnation pink shade is just so stinking pretty. I love that it comes with a little set of keys inside of this clochette that actually work to lock and unlock this push button, believe it or not. So this bag is priced at $450. Again, I believe she retailed at about $700 plus tax. So that is a steal. And in fact, all of these eight bags are steals. So if there's any you want, don't wait around. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all sold within the weekend. And so don't hem and haw or they'll be gone. I'm going to post them also on my Instagram page in the next couple days if they don't sell, but I'm going to give everybody who's watching this video first crack at it. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or email. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.